Hi friends, my name is Brian McDonald, a hydroinformatics engineer and a co-founder of the PySwim project. This video was made to introduce a five minute coffee break series that we're creating to promote the use of PySwim in our industry. We're going to take you from an elemental level of understanding to using PySwim as a means to increase your efficiency as a modeler. So let's get started. We'll start by going over the table of contents on what will be presented during this coffee break session. The first thing we will show is the overall plan for the video tutorial series and how the videos will be added in the future. Next, we will talk about PySwim and what makes it popular. We will move on to describing the users and community developing around it. This will take us to the organization of the project and how the code bases are licensed and cited as well as the ownership of them. Finally, we will wrap up with some quick introductions on our contributors and a thanks to our sponsors. Beyond this introduction and welcome chapter, there are seven more chapters that will generally guide you from installing Python and PySwim to plotting results, to building sophisticated integrations, and all the way to becoming a contributor. Chapter two looks at installing Python and PySwim and shows a quick overview of the documentation. Chapter three takes you through an example of running your model and extracting basic information during a running simulation. Chapter four empowers you by teaching you how to extract time series results and plot them. Chapter 5 provides a quick and simple example of applying inflow and adjusting rainfall all during a simulation. Chapter 6 demonstrates writing a closed loop control of a link during a simulation in pure Python. Chapter 7 provides more advanced details on integrating with PySwim using callbacks. And Chapter 8 guides you to become a contributor of the project. This guide, in detail, will be available on our website for future reference. As new videos are uploaded, we will keep them up to date. Video numbers will be assigned based on genre. Videos can be contributed by anyone. However, videos only made by the PySwim project team or in collaboration with the PySwim project will be assigned a number and be officially incorporated into the video tutorial series outline. The de facto programming language coming to be within civil engineering is Python, given the vast number of libraries available to support the data science side of what we do in modeling. PySwim, along with the co-development of the SWIM5 API, is being developed to enable Pythonic access to the SWIM data model, which facilitates rapid prototyping and also enables users to interact with the model during simulation time. Since PySwim incorporates enhancements to the SWIM codebase, it retains backward compatibility and ultimately serves to augment what SWIM can do. PySwim provides a single framework which encompasses a collection of low-level interfacing functions to the SWIM data model, which facilitates editing a network and hydrologic parameters. The functionality allows researchers and engineers to streamline stormwater model optimization controls and results post-processing in order to be much more effective. The users of PySwim include researchers and students all the way to industry, which includes consulting, engineering, and municipalities. The overall project is organized into layers and sits in three separate repositories on GitHub. Links are provided on our website. This may not seem overly interesting to the normal PySwim user, but this information is critical to understanding how PySwim works. The project has a clean layered architecture. At the core is SWIM, which is developed in C. The PySwim development team has extended the SWIM application programming interface, creating the SWIM Toolkit API, also written in C. The Toolkit API contains a collection of C entry points into SWIM. Each function has a series of unit tests in order to assert the behavior is as planned. Moreover, an expansive collection of regression tests are run on the engine to ensure changes that we make to SWIM and the SWIM toolkit do not compromise SWIM engine results. SWIM and the SWIM API codes are compiled together in a Python library called SWIM toolkit. To do this, we use a tool called SWIG, or a simple wrapper interface generator. This is what allows us to get cross-platform and cross-architecture compatibility. SWIM toolkit produces a C-like feel since it is more or less a one-for-one -one map of the extended C functions. In the final layer, PySwim creates the Pythonic feel by abstracting away the feeling of C and incorporates nice, clean exception handling and standard Python feels around object-oriented programming. The most important takeaway here is that PySwim is not a translation of SWIM C code into Python. 
On the subject of copyrights, licenses, and ownership, each person contributing to PySwim and the related projects owns their contributions, not businesses or universities. This means that the contributors hold copyright on their code. These projects are community assets and the direction of the code bases and functionality is steered by a meritocratic process. The main exception for PySwim and related projects is contributions made by the United States federal government employees. These individuals contribute their code into the public domain since it is unclaimable. There is a natural circular dependency on copyright versus public domain codes among the code bases and, as required, each of these projects articulates this information inside the license file. More information on copyright licenses on the SWIM side will be presented in Chapter 8. For PySwim, specifically upon contributing, the contributors agree to license the use of their code under the Berkeley Software Distribution License version 2, known as a BSD2 clause license. BSD2 is an approved open source initiative license. It is a very permissive license and it has two clauses. The first clause, redistributions of source code must retain the above copyright notice, this list of conditions, and the following disclaimer. The second clause, Redistributions in binary form must reproduce the above copyright notice, this list of conditions, and the following disclaimer in the documentation and or other materials provided with the distribution. Citing PySwim is very simple. A paper was published in the Journal of Open Source Software. Please make sure to always cite the projects when using or referencing it as a part of a publication. The most important part of making this project a success has been the people involved. These are some of the most magnetic and brightest people we have in the industry who are keen to share their code and effort to simplify how we go about modeling. They have supported the community by developing code, often on their own time, to benefit a user base, and they've done it for free. A huge thanks to the team members here, including Jennifer Wu, Catherine Ratliff, Caleb Wahin, Abirama Laputi, and Michael Tribby. The complete authors list is in the PySwim project repository. Funding for this video series has been brought to us by the National Science Foundation 